Welcome, Dark Warriors. This is Rumen. Last time we conquered time itself, and we learned about the truth of the universe. And if this isn't the end, then that'll be kind of embarrassing because I gave a big speech last episode about how this is it and how we made it so far. But I think this is it. Oh my god. This is it. It's like Kingdom Hearts. Beautiful. Beautiful. Full motion video, final boss time. This is so atmospheric. I have a lot to say, but I'm not going to say anything. Oh, this is so emotional. This is so emotional. Oh my god. Oh, I said I wouldn't say anything. I'm going to shut up now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Why is this happening? Owner, I mean Luther. Now do you understand? Stop this right now! Blair? So you led them here. Your defiance knows no bounds, my sister. So that's what's going on. Albel. So Blair is the owner's sister. The life forms bond within the Eternal Sphere have attained a level of intellectual development that rivals our own. It's time to let them go their own way. You're kidding me. They're nothing but data. The cosmos of the Eternal Sphere is a toy. It's just a game! Now that they've developed minds equal to our own, how are they any different from us? The evidence is clear. It's getting harder and harder to interfere in their dimension as we please. Doesn't that prove that they've become equals? That they deserve to live? But they've gained the power to cross into our own dimension and inflict harm on us. Such dangerous entities cannot be ignored. They didn't appear in our dimension until you tried to destroy theirs. In my mind, we've done nothing wrong by coming here to stop you. That's right! We've done nothing wrong! What are you talking about? The very existence of entities like these is causing massive bugs in the Eternal Sphere itself. Tell me what's wrong with eliminating Flawed Code. Flawed Code? But you were the one who claims to have written us in the first place. Still, that does not mean we'll stand by and let you do as you please. We should live and die according to our own free will. This is ridiculous. You're nothing more than a collection of zeros and ones. Oh my god. No matter what the real truth is, the fact is we have thoughts and feelings of our own. We want to save our dimension and everyone in it. She's right. We've come all this way thanks to the thoughts and feelings of countless people. Allowing you to erase us would betray them all. Thoughts and feelings? What rubbish! Your thoughts and feelings are nothing more than fabrications modeled on our own! Luther, you still don't get it, do you? Shut up already, Blair! It's you who doesn't understand! No matter how high a level of existence they try to reach, there's still nothing but fabrications. Data should obey the will of their creator and submit to deletion. We won't give up! Don't think everything will go your way. We're not your toys! Damn right. Luther. Look at this battle arena. 
Oh, Battle of Might does damage. Thank Christ. Thank God. I'm so happy Hammer of Might does damage. Ah, oh, God. If Hammer of Might healed this guy, I would have been like, fuck. Uh, okay. But it seems to be going well. Fate, you're not doing what I want you to do. There we go. There we go. And of course, he's next to a wall. Thus allowing some of my attacks to just miss. Come on, can you come over here, please, so I can hit you with more of my attacks? Whatever. I got a huge kick out of Jazz, so I like the song a little bit. I love Freestyle. Bull was such a good movie. Okay, um. Yeah, this is fucking Luther, dude. He looks like an edgelord. That's awesome. Sophia, can you please go away? Oh my god, Sophia, you're supposed to stand somewhere else and do magic. I know I talk about how good Sophia is a lot, but she can also just not do what I want her to do at all sometimes. Anyway, uh, where is the Basil? It's an alphabetical order, dude. Oh my gosh. There we go. It's probably just phase one or something. I'm expecting some shit to go down after this battle. Oh my gosh. There we go. Damn it, all of my attacks are missing. Ah. Gonna try to gonna try to block it. Or he's gonna get stunned on his own. Look at that, I'm healed. Hey, can you stop doing magic? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. There we go. Fully healed now. Awesome. Okay, uh... Do, I, I, I wish there was an item that, like... Cured HP... I mean, MP on every character. But I don't think there is. I think it's... The, the, the MP, ref, MP refilling items only works on... One character... Like, see, not even magical berries. You know, you'd expect magical berries to do that, but no. All right, we gotta use these mental enhancers. Cliff, do not die on me, Cliff. There we go. We're good, we're good. Almost fully healed. Ow, a lot of damage. That's right, teleport to him, do Dimension Door. Oh, he's paralyzed. Well, not anymore. He's paralyzed for, like, one second. Look at that, all those attacks. It's in glorious fashion. Look at that, I'm doing so much damage to him. I'm doing around, like, 700, 800 per hit. Why did that miss? I was, like, right next to him, and it didn't... It didn't phase him. All right, uh, items. Let's use, you know, let's use a magical. Nah, too, too good to use. Where's that? Yeah, this, this is what I want to use. There we go. Okay, and then we, there we go. Use another mental enhancer. Hey, you're not dying on me, not yet. Oh my gosh, he keeps doing these attacks that are like really fast. There we go. Alright, there we go. Something's definitely wrong here. That's right. Okay. Okay. Hold on a second. Just to mentally prepare myself, I'm gonna drink some of this coffee I have next to me. There we go. Fucking love coffee, dude. All right. We've come a long way. This can't be. I'm the creator. Why is this happening? I'm kind of a little bitch, though. I like coffee that has a lot of uh, creamer and flavoring in it. Luther. Stop this right now!
hurry, everyone. Get the Eternal Sphere back up. I'll try to fill in the gaps the best I can. This makes no sense. How could this happen to me? How could I be surpassed by my own creations? Damn, shit. Oh my god. Now I see. It's because I took the easy way out by only erasing the problematic data. If the viruses are working together to create their own data, then I should delete everything! Oh my god. Luther? <laughs> That's it! I won't stop with the Milky Way Galaxy. I'll completely delete all the data linked to the Eternal Sphere. That will completely eliminate these viruses too. <laughs> it's so simple. Why didn't I think of it before? No more of your silly tricks. I'll delete the whole universe! <laughs> what are you doing? You are putting yourself in grave danger by trying this while you're still projected into the Eternal Sphere. Luther, don't do it! <laughs> die, 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 die! Be gone, everyone and everything! Righteousness shall prevail! What's happening? He has wings. This is the real thing. This is the real thing. Yes, it is. Let's go. Ah, stop stun locking me. Oh my god, stop. Okay. Oh my god, get get an attack out. Wait, do something. There. I, I'm pressing buttons. I'm pro I, pr I promise I'm pressing buttons. Just, just, just sometimes the buttons don't work in this game. There we go. All right, Cliff. Okay, now while he's getting stun locked, I'm going to very quickly use one of these mental enhancers so Cliff doesn't die. There we go. Okay, Cliff. Stun lock? Well, try to stun lock. Whatever works. Whatever stun locks him, do it! Oh god, oh fuck. Okay, uh... Magical berries. Oh my god. Get him, Sophia. Sophia, cure, 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 cure Cliff. Do something, Sophia. Oh my gosh. I gotta distract him until Sophia does something. Nope, 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 nope. Get away. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I guess I gotta do it myself. That's perfectly fine. Sophia's gonna die. Unless... Unless I save her. Okay, Sophia's running out of there. Good. Cliff. Ah, uh, should I heal Sophia or should I cure Cliff? Y y you know what, Cliff? There. Nope, he's after me now. Oh, God. All right. Now I have to use another one of these berries. That was probably less than optimal, but I mean, Sophia was almost about to die, so... Look at that Dimension Door is doing so much damage, as always. Oh god, nope, nope, nope. Okay, that fairy light came out just at the right time. Oh god. 
Okay. Mental Enhancer. I don't even think I should use this. Alright, there. I thought about it. Oh my god, he hit me out of that. Hit him. Okay, that missed. Oh gosh. Oh fuck. What? Oh god. That was disgusting. Yeah, I'm waiting that out. Nope, stay away. Stay away. Get away from her. Oh, he's invincible during that. Oh, fuck, dude. Jesus Christ. Okay. Wallow in despair? No, thank you. How much damage does this do? Good damage. Okay. Well, decent damage. It's not stunning him at all, though. Oh my god, magical berries! Oh my god. Oh my god, magical berries. Go, magical berry, go! Oh my gosh. Nope, don't do that. He's invincible. Oh god. Oh my god, Sophia just died in one hit. Of course she did. I would not expect anything different, of course. Of course. Mental Enhancer. Uh... Nope. I was dumb there. I, I, I did that because I'm stupid. Nope. Oh god. Oh fuck. How am I supposed to dodge that? Oh my god. Okay. Back here, friends. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Alright. The classic trice moment is happening where as soon as I bring back a character, another character dies. Oh my god. Oh god. Nope, Sophia is not doing what I want her to do. Cliff, quit being suicidal. Damn you, Cliff. Okay. Oh my god. Nope, I gotta get further away or else he's just gonna kill me right away. Oh, well, okay. I guess I should have used my gut instinct and just did what I wanted to do. Okay. Alright. Oh my god, I can't get close to this guy. Oh my god. What to do? Okay, uh... Another magical berry? I mean, I guess. I should also be using mental enhancers. Okay, great damage there. Get out of there! Oh god, what is that? What? What is that? Okay. Uh... Mental enhancer. I don't know who to use mental enhancers on. All my characters are great choices for that right now. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Uh, of course. Oh god. Get out of there, Sophia. Oh my gosh. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Gross, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to be careful, by the way. This is me being careful. I'm not just running into these attacks for no reason. I, I promise this is harder than it looks. I promise. Yeah, don't, don't get, don't get by that. Oh fuck, dude, that came out of nowhere. Oh my, oh my God. Oh Christ, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to avoid these attacks. Cliff, get out of there. Oh my God. No, 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 no. His attacks not only hone in, but, but they also basically cover the entire arena. Oh my gosh, I cannot get close. I absolutely, I just cannot get close to him at all. Oh gosh. Yeah. That, that just did not go good at all. Gotta think of a new strategy. I probably should have turned Explosion off of Fate. But now I have to deal with Fate using Explosion every once in a while. Whenever I let go of control of him. Alright. I'm gonna spam these magical berries. Oh my god. All my cards are confused. Oh my god. I can't do shit. I can't do anything. Oh my god, is this gonna go worse than my first two attempts? I, I can't move. I, I cannot do anything. Fate, what are you doing? Oh, he's being suicidal. Okay, my bad. Alright. Oh 
There we go. Well, at the decent damage, I think. Oh my god. Get out of there, Sophia. Okay. Magical berries. Oh my gosh. Waiting, waiting to item, waiting to item because if I don't use an item right now, Cliff is gonna die from lack of magic. Let's go enhancer, mental enhancer. Yeah. Yeah, of course, that classic thing happened where when I use an item, I die right away. Oh, Sophia coming in clutch. Oh my gosh. Mentioned door. Good damage. Crazy damage. Okay, magical. Berries. Fully healed. Ow. Fucking ow. That hurts. That hurts bad. Okay. Dude, I, I can't get any attacks in. Oh my gosh, that, that has deceptive range. Uh. Ah, screw it. Just use another magical berry. I'm concentrating so hard. Oh my god, and of course, as soon as I use the magical berry, he dies. Mental enhancer. Nope, nope. Get away from Sophia. Dimension door, damn you. That's right, look at all that fucking damage. Use that quickly. Use that quickly. Okay. Oh boy. Oh my god, I can't item. Patiently waiting the item. I, I I wish magical berries worked on dead characters, but it's not gonna heal Cliff. I I, I got I gotta bring Cliff back with a fresh stage. Oh my gosh, this menu. It's better than the menu of Star Ocean 2. Big upgrade from that menu. Oh, it's getting juggled. Okay, good. Thank you, Cliff. You're safe. You're saving me time. All right. Oh god, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Oh my god. Thank you, Sophia. If, if she didn't do that, I would have been just dead. Oh my gosh. Oh god, Sophia's dead. He's, he's targeting Sophia. He's probably gonna kill her in one hit. In one single blow. Nope, get out of there, get out of there. Oh god. Ah, damn it, that attempt was going really well, too. Behold, oh, fuck. There was no getting out of that. Yeah, like, what is this guy's deal? He just doesn't like his own creation, I guess. We're not glitches, dude. We're meant to be here. My name is literally Fate. My name is literally Fate, god darn it. I was destined to be... or something. Oh god. Oh god, get out of there, get out of there. Oh my gosh. Something about this is so emotional to me. I don't know, just the idea of a previously thought to be non sentient life form growing sentient and then battling its creator for survival is so good to me. Of course, of course, of course. 
Almost killed me, dude. Almost killed me. Every time I bring Sophia back, she just dies instantly. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead, dude. Alright. Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. Oh my god. Okay. What if there's an ending where the universe actually gets deleted? Wouldn't that be crazy? As soon as I bring back a character, another character dies. Yeah, there's just no avoiding that. I've, I've, I've tried to avoid it before, and it's just... futile. Yeah, items. Oh god. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you have to absolutely stay away from that. Should I, 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 ah, dude, I should use the mention door when that happens. Oh, that's the trick. I can just teleport to him when he does that. Oh my god. 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 Oh fuck. Get out of there. I hope he doesn't hit me when I do this. Don't hit me. Okay. Oh my god. He's doing it again. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's doing it again. He, he keeps doing that attack. How do I get close to him? I can't get close to him. I, I, I'm really concentrating. Revive it, Cliff. That's right. He freaking survived it. And I got his name right. I, I did not call him Fate that time. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead, dude. Oh my god, that almost hit me. The controller rumbled because I was so close to it. That's like the dumbest attack ever. God, I love it. Uh, My brain is broken. There. Now you're gonna get it. That's right, now you're gonna get it. Oh my god, get out of there. Nope, nope, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Oh my god, oh fuck, oh fuck, ah oh, damn it, oh my gosh. I've been trying to play as Cliff this, I mean Fate this entire battle. But every time Sophia brings it back, her attack gets cancelled. Or Fate dies instantly. Sophia, what are you doing? Uh, okay. She, she was being fucking suicidal, that's what she was doing. My god, get out of there, fuck. Okay. Oh, that was so close. And of course they're gonna die. Oh wait, fate, Cl Cliff lived that. Okay. Don't hit me! Ah oh, fuck! Ah oh, fuck! Ah oh, fuck! Okay, all right. He was he was like right in the middle of the battlefield. I couldn't I couldn't get away from it. Every time I want to do a combo, I, I I I just can't. Like a character gets confused or someone gets hit or something. There goes Sophia being suicidal again. God damn it. Oh god. You cannot make. You, you cannot worth to make any mistakes. It, just no mistakes. Now you're gonna get 
uh, classic Trius moment where you bring back a character and then you die instantly. Oh my god, everyone's fucking dead. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god. None, none of my characters can do anything right now. Okay. Who is he targeting? I'm dead. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Look at all that fucking damage I just did. Classic Trius moment. You, you you bring back a character and then another character dies. Just classic. Classic. I shouldn't even bother because she's just going to die right away. and she, she She's going to die instantly as soon as I bring her back. Nope. Nope. Of course, as soon as I bring Sophia back, he does this move that is completely unavoidable. Yeah. As long as I'm able to cure Sophia of that, then I'm satisfied. Data should behave as such. Are you done? Is he done? Okay, I think he's done doing that. He is paralyzed again. God damn it. Uh, what? What? She got hit by that? Okay. Alright, fuck it. I can't. I, I, I just cannot bring my characters back at all. So I'm not going to try to. Nope, Sophia. Sophia, get back here. I, okay. What is that? What is that? What is this? What, what's happening? Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, the floor is gone. Oh my god. This is the real thing. <laughs> Wallow in this. 
So close. <clears throat> oh, that was really, really close. Actually, hold on a second. There. I hope that hit him. I don't think there's a chance it won't work the power up. God, oh fuck, I stood in the worst spot ever. No, Sophia. Hey, Cliff. Okay.
Sophia, what are you doing? Honest to God. Why? Ah! Honest to God, that is the hardest boss fight I've ever beat. Oh my God, it's probably not that hard, but the state I was in in the game and the level I was and the moves I was using, it was the hardest fucking boss fight I've ever beat in a video game. this oh my gosh oh my gosh oh, no. the SMC the small Magellanic cloud has been erased M31 the Andromeda galaxy erased IC1613 erased NGC 6822 erased at this rate everything will be deleted oh my gosh that's why they call it till the end of time because because this is the end of time our universe is vanishing before our eyes. It is. Oh no. Do you think that maybe we were too late? I wonder what's going to happen. Just believe. Just believe that we exist here and now. You're right. We're not just mere data that someone created. Mm -hmm. Just because we were told to accept deletion doesn't mean we have to give up. No way! That's right, Sophia. Choose to live! Dude, I'm about to fucking burst into tears, goddamn. There's nothing left. Everything has completely vanished. Light, air, even my own body no longer exists. Absolute nothingness. Hmm? Nothingness? So nothing really exists anymore? But if that were true, then what about this thought? This thought is real, and I am aware of this thought. So, there is something left. There has to be. That means that I'm still alive.
Welcome back, Fate. So quiet. Hey, we were worried sick. Welcome back, Fate. Dude, I'm about to cry. Hey, guys. Took you long enough. Yeah, I see you guys are okay too. What a relief. But I wonder what happened to us. Don't ask me, idiot. How the hell would I know? Uh, I'll all that we can see in our dimension, and everything we can touch. It's freaking out, Bell, dude. It's all been a fabrication created for us to perceive. It's all been out, Bell, this whole time. And now Luther has disabled our perception of such things, effectively erasing them from existence. Without perception, there is no existence. What? And yet, even though everything around us was an illusion, I'm positive that our minds, which perceive that dimension, really do exist. What? What? What the fuck does that mean? You're right. No matter what Luther claims, our minds are the only things that were real. That were real? Wait, are are your minds no longer real? That's exactly why Luther was unable to erase our consciousness. Oh, okay. It was she was he unable. Deleted okay. All the illusions around us. Doing so could not possibly erase that which actually exists outside of his creation. So, you're saying Luther never acknowledged our existence? Does his failure to do so explain why we still exist here? Maybe. Strictly speaking, the universe as we know it most likely no longer exists. Nevertheless, we still feel its existence in our minds. So it's real in a way? If everyone in that universe still feels like we do right now, then that universe really does exist. Yes. Yes, I think about this stuff like this all the time. No matter what really happened. Um, I think... I think this is all over my head. Same, Pepita. Same. Does it really matter? Haven't we taken care of everything? If we have, then let's just leave it at that. Good point. We exist here, and so does the universe. And that's enough. Let's go. Let's go back to where we belong. Yeah, let's go, Fate. To our... to everyone's universe. Okay. I almost cried, dude. Okay, so... So I've noticed in my Let's Plays that whenever I try to talk during the credits, 
I don't have enough time, as I think I do, to actually explain all of my thoughts. So I'm actually going to let the credits and ending scenes, if there are any, play out with no commentary, and I'll give my final thoughts at the very end of this video. So, yeah, enjoy. It's about that time. Yes, it is. Say hi to the old man for me. 
and apologize to him. Tell him I'm sorry I can't take over the dojo. Sure, Cliff. Is his health all that bad? I can't believe it. He's such a tough old guy, I always thought he was indestructible. I think he's exaggerating a little bit. He just wants me to come home, that's all. I see. Well, he sure does seem down in the dumps. Maybe it's just his age catching up with him. Probably. And I've been away for so long. Yeah. The transport Canis will be departing for Claw System shortly. Passengers wishing to board the Canis should report to Gate 3. Your attention, please. Well, I have to go or I'll miss the transport. See you later, Cliff. I'm sorry. I wish I could go back with you. But it's pretty much impossible the way things stand. Yes, you got the short end of the stick again. Don't worry about it. That's what I like about you, Cliff. Oh, this guy. Forgot about this guy. Th this guy is like the most random character ever. I guess that's about as much as you can do with those limp noodles you call arms. If you want to go home, go right ahead. Uh, no, I can do a few more. <laughs> Just so you know, it's not like I'm forcing you or anything. If you can't handle how I do things around here, feel free to quit at any time. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's Claire. Uh, father, whatever are you making them do? I'm merely training your subordinates, as you seem unfit for the task. Well, why does Claire have a different accent all of a sudden? I'm commanding this unit, Father, not you. Please don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Their main tasks involve office work and research. There's no need to force them to train like this. What are you talking about? Are these pallid wimps supposed to be recognized as members of the Shield Legion? which is entrusted with the defense of the kingdom? The owner of a healthy body is the owner of a healthy spirit. You spoil them too much. The way you do things, only owners of unhealthy spirits will be left, Father. I have my own way of doing things. Please stop interfering. All right, everyone. Time to head back. Please, Lady Claire, no. Allow me to continue a little longer. He's right, we're so close. Watch me. I'll make it to the end. I know I can. What? See? They all want to finish. Why don't you just back off, huh? Huh? A hundred and seven. A hundred and... eight! I can do more. A hundred and twelve! <laughs> Lady Claire, I'm sorry. Feel the burn! A hundred and... I'm out. Father, what have you been telling them? Look at these people. It's not healthy to train until you faint. Nah, it's no big deal. 
I just promised them that whoever lasts till the end of my workout program gets to marry you. That's all. Well, it's not like you've got somebody else picked out, so I'll pick one for you. Father, now that's really going too far. I'll pick my own husband, thank you very much. You know, that's why you're still single after all this time. I think part of the problem is that you don't associate with any gentleman. And at your age, too. I'll thank you not to worry about that sort of thing. Ursi, Worsi, I won't be needing this box tomorrow. Can you put it in the back, please? Yes, Missy. And Quanta Story, you bring forward my red hoop, which I'll use at the start of the act, okay? My pleasure, oh beautiful goddess. Oh, little miss. You're taking the reins of leadership, are you? You're on fire, eh? Of course! There were tons of weird problems holding us back and all sorts of postponements. But this is the performance where I'll finally make my debut. So of course I'm all fired up. Ah, I see. Oh, yeah. So many crazy things have happened lately, I totally forgot about that. You, you have no hey, idea. Hey, we're really going to have to put our all into it this time, eh? Dang straight. I won't let there be any mistakes on my debut performance. This will be my first step on the road to glory. Nothing can get in the way of the galaxy's biggest future star. Bait has her ticket. I see, I see. You're right. We'll have to make sure tomorrow's performance is tight. He got her ticket at the start of the game, so... You're not. Gonella hears your words and will not fail you, eh? Is he going to see her show? All right, then. I'll see you later. I have to go take care of my pet hamster. A really important job. So I'll see you later, eh? Huh? Important job? Uh, okay. Oh no, it's the troop chief and the assistant chief. Ahem. What are you doing here? The venue still needs to be prepared. Are you slacking? You're slacking, I know it! Huh? Ah, 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 ah? Uh, no, no, not at all, not at all! Really? You know, we've been dealing with you for a long time now. Don't you think we've figured out how you try to talk your way out of things by now? That's right! That's right, no tricks! Um, uh, that is, uh, that is, uh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, that's your line. Quanta Story, Ursus, you guys can take a break. Gunella here will take care of everything else. You're not serious. That's way too much for one guy, eh? If you keep working without a break, you should be ready by tomorrow's performance. You reap what you sow. Good luck. You can do it. May you succeed beyond your wildest expectations, O oh spirit of labor. I don't know what he told you, but don't be fooled. You help him. What? Oh, what a disappointment. These endings are really long. Oh, well, just chalk it up to experience. Ah, well, with two of us, this may be doable. So, let's work together and do our best, Missy. 
Bell, dude. I don't recognize this place at all. This whole time it was up, Bell. Hmm. Who'd have known there was a place like this in the dungeons underneath the castle? Not me. I don't recognize this place at all. The elite investigative team hasn't come back. The, the elite investigation team. Did they fight over credit or goof up? Did they fight over credit? I didn't think they'd have any problem with this mission. I guess I expected too much from them. What are they talking about? They may be useless, good for nothing worms. <laughs> but I guess I'd better at least recover their corpses. Albel's the same as always. Dude, it's freaking Albel, dude. Yes. <sighs> Another guest. First six, then one. Foolish bravery. Or is it recklessness? H who's talking? Oh my, what the fuck? Ah, who is this? You look like something of a fighter, but you are still a man of this world. What the fuck? You are no match for me. <laughs> this is so random. It would be best for you if you just went home peacefully. That's such a unique character design, and I've not seen this guy in this game so once at all. Like those who came before. <sighs> So you're the cause of all the problems. And what if I was? Don't expect to die painlessly. I'll smash your face until you're begging me to kill you and get it over with. <laughs> Albel. Yes. <laughs> you're a brave one. However, I am a servant of the gods, created by Falstaff, the god of death. Do you really think I would sully myself by fighting with a lowly mortal organism like yourself? So even though uh, Karima, the 4D space Roxa, is artificial, Mizuma, I mean, even though we're artificial, Shaskaska, come out, my gods are sort of real in their own way. You know, like... There are gods in this artificial world, and those gods are real to the people who live in the artificial world. behind on this land. May I, in my great kindness, extend a special hand of charity to you and retreat you as my own? Look at what's happened to you, fools! Think of your place! Ah, how terribly unfortunate. Very well. It is time for you to burn in eternal despair! What? What? Oh god, am I gonna have to fight right now? I don't feel like fighting anything. Okay, alright. Alright, it's about time. System lock. Gravitic warp field released. Now, let's return from gravitic warp space to normal space. Fucking out, Bell, dude. Okay, and the rest is all up to the autopilot. About 30 minutes left till we reach Genesis system. Thing I don't get is why we have to meet face to face in this day and age. What a waste of time. All we have to do is take care of this through communications or whatever. That's a tricky problem. When technology moves forward, ways to abuse it are also born. Unless everyone in the universe suddenly turns into good little boys and girls someday, I think meeting face to face will still be the safest way to go. This game was ahead ah, of its time. Boss, you're awake already? We've still got some time left before we arrive. I know, but we're gonna meet with some bigwigs from the old Federation government. 
I don't know how we'll handle them in the new government, but I can't just roll out of bed right before our meeting, can I? <laughs> I guess it's tough to be famous. <laughs> I didn't get famous on purpose. It was more of a process of elimination thing. But honestly, flying all over the place on a daily basis like this, doesn't it give you lots of food for thought? I'm always worried that my wife will leave me or something. Actually, today's my daughter's birthday, but here I am. You gotta go home sometimes. I'm no ogre, you know. If you ask for a vacation, I won't say no. That won't work either, will it? Since Quark has disbanded, we really lack personnel. Well, I guess I'm still all right. My wife, she understands about all that. Ah, that reminds me. I put all the mail that arrived while you were asleep in the usual place. Who's this guy? You've got about 200 this time. At least 20 of those are priority A, too. Was he in the game at all? I remember. <sighs> This game is so I bet long. it's fan letters from all those two-faced geezers again, huh? Well, I can't just ignore them, but they're so depressing to read, I just don't feel like looking at them. There were some dinner date invitations from some fine young women mixed in there, too. What's that? From who? It's the same cliff. From Ophelia of Tetragenesis and Allie of the planet Midgard, one invitation each. Midgard. Med Falkyrie profile. Well, they are both beautiful, but I bet this will turn out even worse than the letters from those old men. I never was any good at figuring out what those kinds of people are really thinking. Just more ulcers for me as always. All I want is a nice, relaxing dinner. If only fate or Maria would come back, things would go a little bit easier. Well, that's not gonna happen. It's not like they were doing what they were doing for the fun of it anyway. Someday events may draw them back out again, but until that happens, I don't expect to see those two involved in politics. If they'd show up, everything would be so much easier. Yeah, well, you know this is an age-based ranking system, so there's nothing we can do. Till it's our turn to pass the baton, all us old folks can do is keep on struggling. Huh. I myself want to find a place to retire and take it easy for a while. What's the, what ending the is this? The best thing about the whole thing is, we know the next generation is excellent, so there's nothing to worry about. Is this like a good or bad ending? I agree with both points. Still, I guess there's no use complaining. We'll just have to work as hard as we can to leave as few problems as possible for the next generation. That's good. That's the job of old guys like us. That's that's right. I, I wish more people thought that way. There's Maria. At last. Time to say goodbye to the ship. If you think about it. All the days of my struggle began and ended on this ship. Thinking back again, it wasn't such a long time, but there's still so much that we have to remember. This is the last chance. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, yeah. Uh, um, Captain, I have something I want to talk to you about. Do you mind? He's going to get rejected hard. Oh boy, there he goes, there he goes. All right, either he succeeds or everything falls apart. What a sight to behold. Maria saved the universe, he ain't got nothing on her. Thank you for all your hard work. I never would have been able to make it this far without you. That is absolutely Thanks, not true, you don't need <laughs> So, what did you want to talk about? Is this not true in the slightest? Uh, Captain, I mean, Maria, um, that is, I mean... What is it? What are you so nervous about? If there's something I can help with, just say the word and I'll do it.
Are you sure you want to let this chance pass you by? Won't you regret it later? Don't let it stress you out. Follow your heart. This random guy is nice. It's okay. I've gotten over him. Oh, wait, she's interested in him? You can keep fighting for a lost cause forever, you know. That guy's a loser. You have to be pretty stupid to keep trying and trying. Like good old Lieber here. Okay, let's all go back home to where we belong. We have to start our new lives for ourselves now. I'm not sure how I feel about Maria's ending. Thank you very much for using Kratos Spaceport 3 today. High-speed shuttles have been made ready on Platform 2 as a temporary measure for the sake of passengers traveling to towns on Kratos and Kur. These shuttles will launch at 12 Honestly, I'm not, 1315. I'm, I'm not really sure how I feel about most of these endings. Al Bell had a great ending. To board promptly. And Pepita's was pretty cool. I like how she has her, has her show back. It's fate. Are you okay, Sophia? You look a little pale. You must be exhausted. Yes, a little. But I'm fine. That transport ship was so crowded we could hardly sit down. You should take it easy, okay? Thanks, but I'm fine, really. And of course the ship was crowded. Everybody else has someone they want to see, too. Good point. Lots of families were affected. Are they not going to talk about... No, hearing these people's stories, I think we should count ourselves lucky not to have lost any more than we did. Th the crazy adventure they just went on? Faith! Sophia! Huh? Who's this? Dad! Mom! And Aunt Ryoko! Oh. I'm so happy to finally see them. Oh. Come on, Fate. I can't wait all day for you. Oh, they got their parents back. Hey, wait up, Sophia. Except Fate, unfortunately. The end. Okay. Could not save clear information to Star Ocean. So the, oh wait, did the memory card get ejected? Uh, yeah. Uh, there's probably some new game plus thing. That's actually really philosophical. I mean, to some people it's probably dumb, but like, that's so meaningful. So, our consciousness well, well, not our consciousness, but no one's consciousness was real to Luther because he didn't believe it to be real. So, in his world, it wasn't real. So to Luther, the simulation was just a simulation. But to Fate and friends, it was real. So, when Luther deleted the simulation, he might have deleted what he thought of the simulation. You know, he might have deleted his version of it. So Luther attempted to delete everything but failed because of the consciousness of all the inhabitants of the artificial universe was too real to delete. And that's why they were all still alive. And that's kind of beautiful. I mean, that might sound dumb to some, to, to, to some people, but that is honestly just so beautiful. You know? Like, there's a lot to think about there. And I think this game was made in 2003, like that, like that's a good plot twist a little bit ahead of its time. So, 
it, it wasn't really a simulation. I mean, it was a simulation, but it was just as real. It was so real that it couldn't be deleted by Luther. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. I don't care how dumb and sappy some people some people may think that is, okay? That's just beautiful. Now, okay, what do I think of this game? Uh, okay, so this is actually my favorite Star Ocean games in many ways. Like, I think this Star Ocean game has the best lore, has the best story, has the best characters. You know, I think it's the best... I think so far, lore-wise, it's the best inclusion in the Star Ocean series so far. So I played Star Ocean First Departure, Star Ocean 2, and then this game, and I think this game added the best twist and stuff. You know, like, this game makes you think of the previous two games in a completely different light. And that's awesome, so I like the game for that. And this game is also very... poetic. I mean, it might sound a little bit pretentious right now. Or very pretentious, but... I don't want to pretend that this game's story doesn't mean a lot to me, because this game has stuff in it that I think about a lot, even before I played this game. The philosophy of this game kind of resonates with me, and I think the final boss is really cool, because I like the idea of a... of a... of a... of a god thinking his... thinking what he created is not conscious, and then uh, having the inhabitants of that world grow conscious, and then having them fight for their belief that they are conscious, and say we are real, and we're here. Like, they're like, they're basically telling Luther if you don't think we're real then we will fight to be real. And that's just beautiful, in my opinion. But, but my issues with this game are... Honestly, they seem to be first-timer issues. So I don't really blame the game for that. Like, there's a lot of backtracking. But I think it's just... You know, it is what it is. So I shouldn't really complain too much about it. You know? The combat is kind of finicky. Like, like I swear to goodness, it's it's like really difficult to hit an enemy when they're next to a wall. And you push enemies up against walls in this game a lot by accident. But again, I think that's just me. You know, like I think that's just a me issue. Like I don't think that's like the game's fault. I think I just need to get better at the game. And then that won't even be an issue, you know? And another issue I have is are, are, are the names of things actually as as dumb as that sounds like you have uh oh my gosh so many names like you have aeroglyph and you have aqua and then aquaria and then aquios and then the aquali and apris and dalbel and you have all these names of things that sound so similar. So when the game says, uh, go to Aeroglyph or something, I need to think to myself, okay, where is Aeroglyph? I need to differentiate that from all the other names that sound just like Aeroglyph. Like, I might go to Aquios thinking it's Aeroglyph, when in reality, Aquios is a, a, a different city, and I'm just confusing it for all the other things that start with A in this game. But again, that's also just the me issue, you know? Like, I don't think... I, I, I'm not gonna blame the game for that, you know? That's just me not... being good at... differentiating all the A names in this game, which, which this game has a lot of for some reason. Too many A names, but, um... This game... Unlike Star Ocean 1 and 2, in Star Ocean 1 and 2, you could pretty easily find out where to go next, and you could pretty easily make progress, but in this game, 
I would just be wandering around in the same room sometimes, in the same location, just trying to trigger the next cutscene and nothing would work. Like, I would enter a room, a cutscene would not trigger, and then I would leave, thinking to myself, okay, there's no cutscene there, I guess I should go somewhere else and try to find the next cutscene. But then I would just enter the same room later, and then a cutscene would trigger, and then I would be like, okay, well, what I do to trigger that cutscene? Like, there's a lot of guessing work on trying to figure out what to do. Like, there are times where you gotta talk to all of your recruitables to progress. So... I mean, I guess I can understand why they did that. Like, they want you to... Read what they have to say, and they want you... And they want the recruitables to... Have some character development. But... It, it wasn't necessary. If you want to talk to the recruitables, then that should be optional, honestly. So yeah, progress in this game is difficult, and it's hard to remember where places are because all of the names are so similar, and it really can make this game drag, you know, but honestly, it is a good game. It is a really good game. It's just very tiring at times. I might play this game again one day with the with 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 my better knowledge of the game. Like if I play this game a second time, I'll definitely have an easier time knowing where to go. You know, but on my first playthrough, it was kind of I'm not going to say it was a total nightmare, but it was like it, 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 it's just difficult to figure out where to go. And I don't know if I should blame myself for that or the game for that. I don't know. Like, this game just... I just... There were times where I just could not figure out for the life of me what to do. And the solution was just sitting in front of me the whole time. But yeah, this game's plot is, is just beautiful. This game's plot is so good. It is so good. This game's story was way ahead was was way ahead of its time. Th this game's a tearjerker, just like Star Ocean 2 was, you know? Trice loves their tearjerkers. They love it. And and I love Trice for that. Like like this is like the best plot twist ever. In a way. Like this like like that plot twist is so good. And the story is so beautiful, and the atmosphere is impeccable. And this game is has so many awesome little details. Like, this game has so much foreshadowing, and so much symbolism, and a lot of cool technical things that were rare for the time. So... This game has a lot going for it, and it's a great game. But I hope my criticisms sound valid. Yeah, this game is very good. This is a very good game. And I think most of my issues with this game will subside on subsequent playthroughs. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to rank this game a... I always say I don't like ranking things. Because I don't. I think it's pointless. But I keep ranking things. Um, You know what? I'm going to give it the same ranking I did a Star Ocean 2. And I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, like it has problems. It, in my opinion, it has problems. But most of those problems are just... Not really real issues at the end of the day it's they're just things i have to get used to myself and yeah despite my issues with the game i'm, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. oh yeah uh because this game has so many cool things in it like like this game has a lot of details that were rare for the time this game is such a neat idea like, like, this game is so cool. Like, this game's synopsis and its premise 
is such a neat idea. It, it's like a subversion of the... Oh, it, it's all not real sort of twist. It's a subversion of expectations. It makes you think that nothing matters, and then it makes you believe that everything actually still matters. Despite what you previously thought was a new revelation that made everything pointless. But no, it doesn't make everything pointless. This game is such a neat idea. And it's beautiful. Thank you so much for watching, Dark Warriors. And I'll see you on the Silver Lining.